building for me was that I'd made the collection, I'd spent five years working on this collection, yes. and Sandra, who designed the whole building, she'd been looking for one year to find art that fit into her space. Yeah. Uh, because as an artist, I cannot make paintings specifically for buildings. Yeah. You can't. You have a philosophy of working, you yeah. have a way of working, and it just you just hope that there will be a few people out there that appreciate it or yeah. can identify with it. And that is, um, um, and that's how some of them are came together, yeah. Which, is yeah. a, which is amazing. Well, uh, yeah. I, I know Sandra a little bit, mm. because he did the building, mm. and every room has a story. Yes. And yeah. so your painting is often the storytellers. The storytellers. The storytellers, storytellers yes. And do you think the building would have the same impact without the paintings? Do you think it's... No, I think, I think it's part of it. It's part of it. Yeah. It's part yeah. of the whole yeah. story. Yeah. Yes. I can't imagine another uh, kind of uh, painting. In this particular space? No. no. No, it's true. And I think in the future I'll be given projects to do which I won't be able to do because they will not... It won't, it won't have the same atmosphere. Yeah. They won't... Uh, you know, I would think to myself, well, it's nice to do that project, but I won't have... It, it won't work yeah. because maybe they, they want another atmosphere or another type of work. So I think it's about identifying with the people that are a little bit like yourself, mm -hmm. you know, like you do in life, yeah. don't you? I mean, you identify with people that have something in common or something similar or something you relate to. So, um, anyway, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. And we'll continue around the building. Have a nice okay. success. Very much. See you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Okay, shall we move on? Okay, so I'd like to introduce you to this part of the building here. And as you can see, everybody's working, they're all in a working situation. And as I was passing, uh, Dennis uh, said that this particular piece was something that appealed to him. So I'd maybe just like to ask him why uh, he finds his painting particularly uh, interesting. Hi, Dennis. Hi. Hi. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. This, this this is really this is this is a great painting. Uh, first of all, the size it's it's big. And and the yeah, yeah, and and the material. I'm not sure what it is. Is yeah. it just paint? No. Because because the, the thing in the middle, it must be like some kind of. It's, it's not paint. Can I touch it? Yes, you can touch it. Yes. Yeah. I think the pointing the point for the paintings is that they have to be tactile. It has to have that feeling that they're a hundred years old. Yeah. And that it has a history and it's had a life. And um, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just like an old wall or an old door. Um, and the idea was it that it was supposed to keep everybody sort of quiet and calm because in our lives we're all running around, we're all chaotic, we're all frantically searching for something. And I wanted this to be a stop point in everybody's life where you stop and uh, have a one moment of peace. And that was what I tried. And you feel a little bit... Sorry? Yeah, my, 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 I, I feel the same way uh, like I'm in the woods. Oh, that's nice. I, okay. I, don't know, I don't know why and I don't know how, but it, it gives me the feeling like I'm, I'm, I'm sitting in the woods uh, on, a, on, a, on some sand. Oh, that's and, and, and just watching uh, the, the whole the wood, whole you know, the trees and the, 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 the brown colors and everything. Okay. For, for the trees. I don't know why, but this is the feeling I have with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this, this, is, this is really, uh, it, yeah. gives, it gives me a good feeling. Okay, that's nice. And it's not sort of, uh, even though it's monotone, mm -hmm. it's not boring because you, wait, the closer you look, the more you see into it. Yeah, there's a lot into it. With, uh, with the sort of, uh, with the layers. And, yeah. um, okay, well, that's all this. Uh, yeah, I really like the colors also. It's, it's, it's quite calming. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. Not, it's not a usual color. It's, no. It's, it's really no. Our, our maybe... 10 or 20 different colors in the well, same piece. Yeah, and that's the layers, that's the, that you put the paint on, you take it off, you put it on, you take it off, and uh, you um, sticking things on like here, you know, these are, these are actually from old uh, bread, bread molds. Really? Yes, yes, yeah, these are from bread molds here. Ah. And they went on first, that was one of the first layers. And this here was all the things that, uh, that, are, that are interesting for me as an artist. Mm -hmm. uh, this is sort of a Buddhist um, uh, text here. So it's oh. for uh, relaxation. That's from, uh, that's from a text. Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. If you, the more you look, the more you'll see. This is from, um, this is 100 years old. It's from a house. And that's what you used to have on your Dutch houses. That's a number. Yeah, I so see. So that's the... And these letters I got in Belgium, they're also about 100 years old. 
And uh, so these are all objects that I loved even before I put them onto the panel. Yeah, and so now you made it yeah, to one yeah, piece. Then you make it into one sort of concept. But everything you've, that I've found um, comes together in, in, the, in the story. This, so is, this is great. Sometimes you need, you need to, to, to talk to the painter, to the artist, to understand, why to, to understand a little bit more. Because yeah. I saw this and I saw that, but I never really saw that there were lyrics. Or, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, I yeah, never yeah. really saw it. Now I see it. Now you told me yeah. this. Maybe, it's they great. Should, maybe they should be tight besides every painting. There should be a little uh, button that you can yeah. push. To yeah. <laughs> to so, you can, so you can explain <laughs> how it works. Yeah, this is great. This is a good idea. Yeah, but the nice thing about walking around and that other people have their opinion. I mean, I would. I mean, I never thought of that. No. no. That's, that's lovely. That's you know, yeah, that's a nice thing that everybody's got another feeling for it. Yeah. You know, so that's, that's great. I love to speak. Yeah, thank you it's very nice. much. Lovely. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Should we a little move a little bit further on my building? Showing you now the building. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I also wanted to uh, to show you how it works in a corporate uh, situation um, with a working environment. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you like the work, and uh, thank you very much. To uh, now introduce uh, Sandra. Um, last week we had a look at uh, the building that Sandra completely designed and decorated, Lab Venture Capital. And now I think uh, we had a nice walk around. We talked to some people that volunteered their uh, uh, their ideas and how they felt about the paintings. Um, and I asked Sandra if she would have a few words as to. Um, how we met, how we came to this situation, and uh, how my work ended up being part of Sandra's uh, concept in the building. So, Sandra. Ta da! <laughs> Ta da! Um, well, we already we live in the same street, so that's a start to meet. And uh, when I um, decorated the building, it needed because it has uh, uh, some sort of an industrial look, so in, it needed real uh, presence in art. And um, so that's how I came to Sandra because she makes that. She puts her presence into her art. And uh, I wanted huge paintings because I didn't want lots of uh, nitty gritty art, but I wanted huge paintings. And there are not a lot of artists that make huge paintings, which are uh, um, which are all 